Some folks in the industry have even referred to me as... <laughs> Franchise Viagra. On the Saturday Night Live stage, these celebrities seem right at home. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 best hosts of Saturday Night Live. Live from New York, it's Saturday night! Um, yeah, that already happened. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're focusing on celebrities that have never been official members of the Saturday Night Live cast. So that means favorites like Will Ferrell and Norm Macdonald don't fit our criteria, since they hosted after leaving the show. I used to do the uh, weekend update news routine, you remember that? Number 10, Melissa McCarthy. She was born, born for your host five times. For your host five times. Early in her career, this actress performed with famous Los Angeles sketch troupe The Groundlings. So obviously, Melissa McCarthy has the necessary improv chops to hang with SNL's best. She's played Sean Spicer to perfection with her sensational physical comedy, and the portrayal even led to a primetime Emmy Award. Now I'd like to begin today by apologizing on behalf of you to me. <laughs> Meanwhile, her original characters showcase her comedic versatility and ability to go with the flow. Melissa is loud but charming, which makes her a dynamic, unforgettable host, one that SNL continues to call on for special appearances. This is my dad, and uh, this is me over his dead body screaming, no! <laughs> Number nine, Buck Henry. You, it, well, then take my ticket here. No. What? Well, yeah, if you really want to go, boy, sure, but we'll both of you go, that's all right. In contrast to Melissa McCarthy's in-your-face style of comedy, this old-school icon takes a more subtle approach. Back in the late 70s, Buck Henry's dry humor was so captivating that he was asked to host the season finale four years in a row. And... It is the 103rd time that I've hosted. Considering SNL's gallery of wacky characters, Henry is the perfect straight man for sketches about social outcasts. Some of his finest moments will creep you out in that hilariously awkward kind of way, while others display Buck's raw comedic talent. Either way, he is guaranteed to make you laugh. Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum! Oh, I'm long John Silver, I'm gonna search you for the Search me, search me, search me! Number eight, Candace Bergen. Well, we'd like to show you another one of Mr. Mainway's products. It retails for $1.98, and it's called Bag of Glass. This model-turned-actress is known for her extensive film and television work. What you may not realize, however, is that Candace Bergen is the daughter of comedian Edgar Bergen, and she clearly shares his penchant for humor. It's safe for everything, even tarnished diamonds, with only one dunk. <laughs> New turn-off, eat up tarnish, leaves your crown... Sparkling. Bergen set a high bar for all hosts on SNL, and she was also the first woman to host. In sketches, Candace plays it cool and is able to match some of the series' most accomplished cast members beat for beat. Over the years, she's often returned, making her not just a memorable guest host, but one of the series' most influential and relatable hosts. And we think it's going to be... We think it's going to be... a very exciting show, and we'll be back after this film message. Number seven, Drew Barrymore. Gilly! What's up? Gilly! Spaghetti. Speaking of relatable performers, this American actress has been in the public eye since childhood. Oh, and Drew Barrymore also comes from a Hollywood family. She makes it look easy on stage, and she's an old pro too as she actually hosted in 1982 at only seven years old. And someone says I can go to arcade, I say, terrific, anytime. While Drew can hold her own with original characters, it's the celebrity impressions that stand out most. She may be America's sweetheart, but she will kill you with her kind demeanor and her extraordinary knack for comedic timing. Calista Flockhart with an amazing negative $58,000. Good job. Thank you. Number six, Tom Hanks. Hey, and what's the matter with those guys on Miami Vice? Those guys, they never wear any socks. I mean, guys, what's the big deal? Everybody loves this American icon, so much so that he acknowledged himself as America's father during a 2016 monologue. You know, um, magazine cover recently called me America's dad. <laughs> and I would have preferred sexiest man alive, but I will take it. 
Long before Tom Hanks became an Oscar winner, he was a comedic veteran of the SNL stage. Like Drew Barrymore, he's got a gift for astute celebrity impressions, but he's also capable of stepping away from the script for bizarre, zany characters. Remember, this is Bosom Buddies Buffy Wilson we're talking about. He puts the audience at ease, only to flip the script with his vast range of comedic quirks. What's my name? David S. Pumpkins! Any questions? Number 5. John Goodman Back in 1980, this extraordinary character failed to make the Saturday Night Live cut. But John Goodman nonetheless became a series legend. With his larger-than-life nature, he can play overbearing and aggressive characters, and he's also got the personality to channel his feminine side, too. Remember Linda Tripp? Apparently, it's against the law in the state of Maryland, and they want to prosecute me for it. And while Goodman's not afraid of going over the top, he can pull things back if he needs to, always playing off his fellow SNL performers. If Tom Hanks is America's dad, then John Goodman is America's hilarious uncle. Oh, God. My wife's here. And everyone from work. Do they think this is Tom? Number four, Justin Timberlake. Some performers just have that special X factor, and this superstar is one of those blessed individuals. Justin Timberlake obviously brings some hip appeal to the SNL stage, but he keeps people tuned in with his magnetic personality and triple threat skill set. I'm just here to do the comedy thing, and I'm not gonna sing tonight. Not gonna do that thing where my voice goes high. He always seems one step ahead during sketches, leaving viewers curious if he'll stay on script or improvise. When my great great grandson will bring sexy back. Plus, Justin also seems to be having the time of his life, resulting in several hilarious moments that keep Saturday Night Live in the headlines. Excuse me, can we talk about the students, please? Uh, they were put in real danger by our principal. That, that man, right over there. Excuse me, that is absolutely not true. And that's the news. Stay tuned for Playhouse 90 with Lee Jacob. What? Thank no, no, you. No, no. Number three, Christopher Walken. I got a fever, and the only prescription it's more cowbell. If Justin Timberlake makes the audience comfortable, then this man does the exact opposite. Still, Christopher Walken brings a strange sense of effortless cool to SNL with his intellectual comedy and subdued technique. At lunch, you're gonna treat yourself to a vanilla ice cream. You're gonna eat it too fast. You're gonna get an ice cream headache. Like John Goodman, Walken excels during bizarre scenarios, whether he's asking for more cowbell or breaking the fourth wall as the Continental. Throw champagne in my face once. <laughs> Shame on you. Plus, his unorthodox manner of speech always keeps the cast members on their toes, as they wonder which way Walken will go. He's a true original that brings out the best in other performers. Now, I'd been begging her to try Shinshi Shinshi for months. She'd refused on the grounds that it was unclean. Number two, Alec Baldwin. I bet Nixon only got one scoop of ice cream for dessert, but I get two scoops, okay? <laughs> two scoops, two scoops. Younger Saturday Night Live fans surely recognize this actor for his exaggerated Donald Trump impression. But Alec Baldwin is no one-trick pony, as he's one of the most versatile celebrities to ever host. And he's hosted more times than anybody else as of 2018. Well, there's no beating my balls. <laughs> They're made from a secret, sweaty family recipe. Alec's run began in 1990, as he mixed celebrity impressions with oddball characters to complement the likes of oddball comics such as Chris Farley and Adam Sandler. Canteen boy, would you uh, rub some bug repellent on my chest? <laughs> He's a true professional, someone that raises the bar by staying on point with each and every sketch. And of course, he isn't afraid of doing political impersonations. Kiss my... Kiss my ass! <laughs> I was gonna say, kiss my baby! He cursed at a baby! He did! He swore at an infant! I couldn't see who it was. I didn't know! Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. I get women, too. I can't keep them, but I get them. And women always leave me, man. I don't mind them leaving, but they tell you why. It's uh, great uh, being back hosting Saturday Night Live. Uh, all week I was thinking to myself, uh, don't screw this up, fatty. People say, but, but Betty, Facebook is a great way to connect with old friends. 
Well, at my age, if I want to connect with old friends, I need a Ouija board. <laughs> Number one, Steve Martin. Live from New York. Wine. <laughs> it's Saturday night. This comedy icon has been with Saturday Night Live since the beginning. In fact, some people may actually believe that Steve Martin is an original cast member. In the early days, he helped put SNL on the map with his improv comedy and purely original characters, all the while creating pop culture moments before going viral was even a thing. Game time. How'd you get so funky? funky Did you do the funky? With his extraordinary ability to simply entertain, Steve makes SNL must-watch TV whenever he hosts. He is a comedic genius and clearly enjoys seeing people chuckle at the silliest of things. Don't come crawling to us to have fashion models from the Fox Bar will be here soon to give themselves to the Festrunk brothers. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.